Hi everyone, it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plans and today we are planning in my classic and mini happy planners uh, from April 17th to the 23rd. We're going to start with my classic planner and then if you're interested in just the mini, I will have a timestamp down in the description below. But let's go ahead and dive right in because it's going to be a busy week. This is the week we are hoping to do our big move. Um, my shed hopefully should be moved during this week uh, and then we'll move, have moved come and help us with all the really big stuff in our house that we can't luckily we only have like maybe 12 big things um, everything else we've kind of just taken over ourselves all the small stuff so it's really just like you know our washer and dryer which is a stackable like you know like things like that that we can't it's a little bit harder and we don't have the cars that would be able to fit them so um, our hope is that during this week we'll be able to knock that out because I'm so done with going back and forth. I just want to be at one place um, and everything has worked out and like the weather has been great. Uh, so the yard is ready for my office. And so I've, I and I've been saying since the beginning, as soon as my shed can be moved, we're out of here. Um, and I was dead serious about that. But let's go ahead and get started. I am in a great mood. So I'm feeling some rainbow vibes spreads um, in my uh, classic planner. So I'm going to go in with the Bujo Essentials from Amber plants her day and I thought this wood would be so much fun to pair with her rainbow florals collections because like I feel like all of these florals look really really good with this wood and I just thought this would kind of be fun like a fun kind of different I don't know like a different way to do this I guess I don't know that I haven't done it so I'm gonna go ahead and get started I'm willing to start with a corner piece Actually, now that I think of it, now I'm like, maybe I should put the corner piece all the way down here. Okay, now I'm starting to <laughs> not second guess myself, but now I'm trying to like figure out what's going on in my brain. Okay, so I'm going to have it rainbow, you know, across. Um, so I'm going to take this one. I'm going to hold it because I want to put florals underneath it. So that way, you know, they're coming out of the wood. So I need to see where this one needs to go. So if I put this over in the corner here, okay. And then this one has that flat, it has flat edges on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it. Or actually maybe I should put it up. I keep second guessing myself, you guys. <laughs> I'm like, how exactly do I want to go about doing this? Okay, I think I'm just going to do this. Actually, let's do red this way. So that way I can just keep red where it's supposed to go. I feel like that makes more sense. And then we're not really going over too much into my orange. So we're going to try that. We're going to try it. Um, I might put more. I don't know if I like this straight look over here. So I think I'm going to put some more of the red little clusters because of course now I'm like, I feel like the red should be overflowing. And of course I didn't discover that until I did it. But you know what? We're winging it, so it's fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna trim this piece so again I can use it. And we're just gonna make this look like an even bigger piece, which I feel like that actually worked out really well. Okay, let's go in with some orange florals. And these florals are gorgeous. Um, okay, I don't think I want to do the straight edged ones over here now. But I'm going to kind of have it start flowing into the orange over here. So I'm going to kind of have it like going down. Okay, and then let me go grab the yellow. Same kind of thing. Um, gotta figure out which clusters I like the most. <laughs> Who do I like the most, basically? Some of these in here. Okay. Then I feel like I need to go on and I feel like I need to trim these off. All these pieces that are like on the wood. I don't think I actually want them on the wood. So I'm gonna go in and I'm just going to carefully take my X-Acto knife. It's not going to be exact because there's a lot of like little divots and stuff in these. But I'm going to try to get as much of 
this clear off of the wood as I can. Ooh, okay, well maybe not that piece. Because I just pulled up some of the wood. Okay, well that's okay. That wasn't too bad. Okay, so we got a little bit of that off. I can trim my bottoms here. Oh, or not. Trim. <laughs> trim my bottom so I have the start of I got the start of something over here okay okay I'm gonna take this piece oh not there excuse you um and I'm gonna stick this right over here and then we'll probably have some more of those colors coming out from that but let's set that set one aside real quick and then let's go to this other side so I want kind of the same vibe. So I'm going to go with this one. And I'm going to lay it down so that way I can still like lift up this corner. And over here would be pink. So I'm going to I'm going to kind of go backwards from where I was. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this big corner pink piece that is in here. Um so I'm gonna pull this down all the way. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. There's enough of it should be peeking through even with this down. Oh yeah, enough of that's peeking through. Okay, um, and then we're gonna go to the purple. This is like the part that always takes the longest because I'm like pulling individuals of everything and then it you know, it takes forever to get all the colors in here. I'll probably just have more purple as the emphasis up top because I'm not really putting too much down at the bottom. Then we're going to go to a blue and then last we'll do green. So I'm going to grab some blue and throw it in here. And then we'll grab a green piece. I want to put all the pieces together. Do one more little green piece just to cover up all my spots over here. Then I can go in and just trim the rest off because we don't need all of that. Okay, so we kind of have the start of this. <laughs> um, okay, so we kind of have the start. So now we kind of just have to see how we can marry these together a little bit better. Um, so I'm just going to start on Monday. I don't think... Well, Monday, I'm hoping, is the day that it's like, this is probably going to be the move. Or at least, like, either my office or all the stuff in the house. Like, one of the two, I don't care which one, but hopefully one of those will be there. Um, so, I do want to make sure I put a box in here. So, I'm just going to go to the boxes in this book. And then we'll choose... I think I'm going to do the red square. Okay, because that's the hope is that we are starting the move somewhere right over there. I am going to go back and grab a little bit more of the florals. Um, I'm going to grab these pieces again just so I can have it in here a little bit more. Go ahead and lay that down, and then I'm going to trim off whatever is touching the wood with my X Acto knife. Just like a little trim. Okay, just like so. Tuesday, again, hopefully something else is happening with the move. Um, so I'm going to put a box there. And the goal is to like do all this while the kid was at school. Like, so she should be at school. Shouldn't really have to worry about her whereabouts at that time. Um, but she does have 
therapy that afternoon. So I do want to make sure I'm not forgetting, you know, some of the things that we do have that day. And I'm just going to see what quotes I have. <laughs> I'm going to do this good things take time. I'm going to put this in between the two because it's kind of like that burnt orangey red color. So I feel like it works for both of them. Um, okay, we'll leave that open just in case I need it. Um, let's go to yellow. Or actually, let me put some more orange floral in here because we do have some space too. If I can pull them up. I've got to say, I'm not a big fan of spring. <laughs> I always forget every single year. I always forget how bad my allergies are when spring comes. My eyes have been burning. Just like my nose is stuffy all the time. Like I'm just miserable during this time of year. And this year I was a little bit better. I started taking allergy medicine like a month ago. But I'm not consistent because I'm horrible at taking medicine. Um... But, I mean, it's helped a little bit, but still, man, like, my eyes are just so bothered by life right now. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I forget how much I hate spring. Like, spring is not my favorite time of year at all. Okay, so hopefully between these three days, we'll be, like, getting a lot of house stuff done. Um, because basically I have to have an electrician come and remove the electric from my shed here, and then... The movers come they move my shed then i have to have the electrician come back out to the new house and hook everything back up so it's like i've got to kind of juggle around you know when people are coming um so that should be a fun time <laughs> i'm like oh man it's gonna be a lot okay and then the kiddos should have therapy again on wednesday and then i think i'm gonna cancel mine on wednesday just in case because again i don't know everything that's going on and so I want to make sure, you know, I leave that week open because we're moving. I'm so done. Like, I just want to be out. It is time. I'm going to put a quote and then I'll leave this area alone. I'm going to put a little bit of some florals over there, but for the most part, I think I'm going to leave it alone. So that way um, I can put some bullet points for any additional to do's. But like right now, I'm literally just living in like the hopefully this will happen kind of thing. This is what I would like to happen. Not necessarily this is what is planned. And that's just kind of how things are sort of working out right now. So I might just have to deal with that. I also want to see if, if I add an orange floral right there, if that'll help cover up. I don't necessarily like this harsh line. I don't know if this will help or not, but I do want to try it. So I'm going to take one of the smaller bundles of florals and I'm gonna add it on top and just kind of see if I can cover up that line a little bit which I feel like that helped a little bit it might not be perfect but at least I don't see that line as bad I don't know it was just bothering me okay so all these pieces so this side I'm in love with one side down and I am gonna add some more of the wood look on the other side I just I don't know where I want it yet so that's why I haven't added it maybe we can kind of do the same thing add a little bit up here and I do it to where I can still lift it though um, and I'm trying to think so Thursday I already made it a busy day I have a couple appointments that day which is why I'm like really determined like the first part of the week to do a lot of the big moving stuff because I already committed to a lot of other things on Thursday because I wasn't thinking about it but you know it is what it is so I do have two appointments on Thursday so I'm gonna go in and put some boxes for those and there is an appointment sticker in those colors. So I am going to grab that. I think I'm going to stick it right on top. But I have two appointments that day. So I'm going to put those in there. 
And then let's move on to blue. And then Friday, again, it might just be moving stuff. So I don't necessarily know. Like nothing's planned. I feel like the other side I had all the things were planned. I knew a little bit more of what was going on. But I definitely don't know as much over for the other side. So I'm just going to go in and add some more of the blue florals. I think I'm going to do kind of like this. And then I think I'm going to trim the top off. Trim this piece off here. So it's flat. Could have just cut that before I put it down, but I didn't think about it until right when I set it down. Because I just, I don't know what exactly is going on on Friday yet. It really is just determined by what we get done, you know? Um, okay, well, let's go to purple because I didn't get a lot of purple florals in here. And those are a must. So, I'm trying to find the purple page I was using. I am going to add some more of these in here. I think I accidentally pushed this down. Just a little bit. Oh, I should I should flatten the top of this because that would be easier than me trying to cut it after. Just put this right in here. And I'm hoping there's a quote that I like in the purple. Um, I don't know what I want to do. Okay, well, let me add a little bit more pink floral, maybe just like right here. I think I have some smaller pieces that I can kind of just put in there. Kind of flow in. Okay. Now, let's see. I kind of liked the blue Dream Big, which is kind of more of like a green-blue color. But I'm going to go ahead and add that in here. And then from the purple, I'm going to do this. Don't look back. You're not going that way. So we have that, like, smaller font over here. And then this kind of leaves me some room um, for any boxes or maybe any bullet points. Because, again, like, I'm kind of just living by, like, hopefully these things happen. Um, but it's, you know, not for certain always. So I know I have dance on Sunday, so I'm going to put that. Okay, I think that's it for my, what is this called? My classic spread. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I'm going to see if I can grab one more. Ooh, that's not where I wanted you to go, sir. No. <laughs> um, I was going to add this like on a box or something. I feel like it has to go this way so all the lines are going the same way for the wood. Um, just add in some of those pieces. Okay, I think that's good for my classic planner. I'm loving how it turned out. Again, I'm not going to put any bullets or checklists yet. Um, I'm leaving that space. That way I can put them in, um, you know, as things actually get planned. But this is my hope for the plan. So we'll see if that actually happens. Okay, let's go ahead and move into my mini spread. All right, so for my mini spread, I'm going to use this Lazy Afternoon sticker book from Creative Kingfisher. Um, there are some gorgeous, gorgeous artworks in here, but one of my favorites in this book is this like little purple house scenery. I don't know, like this one was just my absolute favorite um, to look at. So we're gonna use that one. And then there are some fun like little quotes at the back and then some boxes that we can make match. But I've just been wanting to use, like this one's my absolute favorite. Look how stinking cute. I, I want a little purple house. I wanna have that. <laughs> but I thought this one would fit really nicely in here. So that's why I wanna use it in my mini spread. Cause these are like nice kind of smaller dainty I guess I'm gonna put a little butterfly over here to kind of cover up this notes piece all right and then we do have butterflies for the other sides and then I think I want to put 
one of these other little scenes over here. So let's do like one of these little mini scenes. We'll do this on Tuesday. The nice thing, I kind of am, have been liking doing my mini and my classic spreads because sometimes I'll remember things for my mini, but it makes it a little bit easier to look back at my classic spreads so I can remember like what appointments did I just put in that one because I already don't remember because <laughs> that's just how my brain works sometimes. Okay, so we can really pull out whatever colors, I think between the green and the purple. Um, so again, I'm going to kind of just mimic my classic spread, mainly just because I'm speaking it into life. Um, these things need to happen. So <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and put a purple box and then I'm going to use these really skinny green box over here. And then let's see the kiddo for the kiddo schedule, I think is what I'm using the green for. And then some more house related things. So I'm gonna stick with that green and purple. I think there's yellow in here, but I don't remember. Oh yeah, there's some yellow. We can pull some yellow out. Let's use some yellow too, because that can break up some of the green and the purple. Um, let's use that for Monday then. Can we get some of that yellow in here? Because there's yellow in the butterfly. And then I have my appointments on Thursday. So we'll do these smaller boxes for those. Um, let's do a smaller purple for those two. And then I don't know about Friday or Saturday, but Sunday I do have rehearsal. So I do have dance. Right now that's really the only thing that <laughs> is like consistent in my life that I'm like, I know I have that. Um, everything else I'm just like, I don't know. I have no clue. Okay. And then there are some fun little, uh, what are these called? Uh, date covers which I think are always fun. So I'm actually going to use, hmm, I'm just worried now that I'm gonna cover up stuff. Cause they're kind of on the bigger side. Actually, I'm not gonna use them, I lied. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna use the numbers cause I think the numbers will be fun. So I'm gonna use the green numbers just to draw more attention to the numbers in here. But we'll leave the days alone. So I'm just going to cover up with the same numbers. These are great too, though, if you're redating and or like you were using an undated planner. But for now, I'm just going to cover these up for fun. And then it just makes it look a little bit more fun. Okay, so plans are for changing. I guess I'm going to put this in here as like a happy reminder. Like it's okay if plans change. Um, even though I'm like, no, the plans better not change. I don't have time for that. <laughs> In my head, I'm like, yeah, we're not changing anything. Um, so we'll see. Okay. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to go back to that same set. I think I'm going to add something over here. Cause again, I don't really know. Um, I don't think there's really anything going on on Friday could just be house stuff, but I don't know. The goal is to have all the big house stuff done before Friday. So that's the goal. So I'm going to stick this big sticker over here. That way we know. <laughs> There's no room for more plans on house stuff over there. We should be all done. That's going to be my hope at least. Okay, I think that's it pretty simple but I've been really wanting to use that set because it's so gorgeous like this little house is just so stinking cute all righty so we have my mini and my classic spreads all done and complete hopefully ready for a busy but exciting week I so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope I'll see you in my next one bye